Hey there, happy day 49, a fun day 49, doing one fun thing every day for 365 days, at least from the little journal book, do one fun thing every day. This year I decided, I don't know about you, but the older I get, the less fun I've been having. So I decided I wanted to have more fun this year. And I thought, what better way to have more fun every year than to focus every single day on one fun thing. Found this little journal book to help up at the cabin this last summer. And today we have a sayings day. And by the title, you might imagine or have already figured out that it's about books, right? Book BFF, book best friends. So what is our handy dandy saying today? It says, a good book is the best of friends, the same today and forever. Martin Farquhar Tupper wrote this in Of Reading. And our challenge today says, the book that is my BFF. Now, as we gotten older and if you're six to nine you probably have a favorite book and one favorite book or a series of favorite books but the older I've gotten I realize that my favorite book book my best friend book is the book I'm reading right now whatever I'm reading and learning about and studying about right this minute right now is my favorite book it is my best friend and I do agree we, we can read a book and we can put it down and we can come back to it I've started books and come back to them years later and picked up right where I left off. That's one of the things I love about books. And now television is set up that way. It didn't used to be when I was younger. Heck, lucky to have any television shows. Uh, lucky that they'd invented TV, right? But I would say over all time, one of my favorite books is of course, Think and Grow Rich. Another one of my favorite books that I credit for, partially me still being here um, following my sudden cardiac arrest is the book by Lynn Grabhorn called Excuse Me, Your Life is Waiting. Um, the Secret, I watched that and read that book and studied those books for like a, a year or two period in some of the rockiest times of my life with respect to my personal relationship and my marriage. So books can be <coughs> our best friend. They are there. The words are on the page. When somebody creates a book, it, it can last forever. It, it's once something appears in print, it can last and be forever. Thus, the warning to my children, be careful what you write down in texts and messages and email and in letters because it might go on in perpetuity long after you've left this planet. So what is your favorite book? What is your best friend book? Your best friend forever book? What's the, a book that you've read that you can think about and it just brings back amazing fond memories? Mr. Willoughby's Christmas Tree is one of those Christmas books for me. Um, Good Night Moon, I read every single day to my kids for years when they were little um, and, and read it to my granddaughter. There's other books like that that just stick with us and we remember forever. A Christmas Carol, one of my favorite books. Um, so what is one of your best friend go-to books? Share in the comments below so that we can all revel in and your excitement and your wonder with a book that is your best friend. And it might just be a book for you that helped you through a hard time. Like me, excuse me, your life is waiting. It just is a book and a workbook that I needed at the time. And that's why I say the book I'm reading now tends to be my best friend. That's it. Have an absolutely fun and amazing day. Let me know if I can help you in any way. Otherwise, I'll be with you tomorrow with another challenge, another fun challenge from our do one fun thing every day. Have a fun day. Catch you tomorrow.